Just imagine a centipede the size of a surfboard crawling through your garden. No thanks. These horrifying bug-like creatures lived during the Carboniferous and Permian periods between 359 and 299 million years ago. They're thought to have fed on decaying plant matter and other organic debris on the forest floor. Given their huge size and many legs, they probably took quite a while to starve. If you encounter one of these today, though, you better run away fast. Next, we have to look at Dunkleosteus. This enormous fish had a thick, armored hide and bone-crushing jaws. It had no teeth, only sharp plates to slice through flesh and crunch bones. It was also blind as a bat and couldn't hear a thing, but it didn't need eyes or ears to survive because its sense of smell was incredibly acute. Even the smallest trace of blood in the water would send this underwater terror into a feeding frenzy. The Dunkleosteus lived in the Devonian Sea that covered much of eastern North America and Europe around 360 million years ago. It grew to a length of 30 feet and weighed almost a ton. For this reason, it was one of the largest known predatory bony fish that ever lived. Humans weren't around yet, but if they were, we would have quickly become its favorite snack. Now let's take a look at terror birds. These flightless, carnivorous birds are one of the most fascinating examples of evolution in action. They evolved from ancestors that flew over from the Old World and evolved into huge flightless birds in South America. Today, they're known as the apex predators of their ecosystem, standing up to 10 feet tall and weighing over 70 pounds. They could run at terrifying speeds and likely hunted in packs to bring down large prey. Some scientists believe terror birds hunted and picked apart their prey before taking flight. Others think they were too heavy to fly and scavenged dead carcasses instead. But regardless of how they got their food, we're glad these raptors are extinct. Moving on, let's look at Quetzalcoatlus. Back in the late Cretaceous period, when the Rocky Mountains were still being formed, there was a huge animal soaring overhead. With a wingspan of 40 feet, the Quetzalcoatlus was one of the largest flying animals that ever lived. To put its size into perspective, the wingspan of a California condor is 9.5 feet. So this prehistoric bird had nearly four times the wingspan. This huge flying creature was an opportunistic hunter that probably ate fish, reptiles, and smaller vertebrates. But its favorite snack was probably carrion, or the carcasses of dead animals. 